and there's like a ton of hair coming out of your nose. That's not cool. You're not grooming. Save that shit down. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm Pookie. I'm at the house of Pookie. Today, we're gonna have chicken, no, stir fried, chicken stir fried rice, whatever. It's stir fried rice. I got some green beans, chicken, egg, and this is low carb style. So this is cauliflower rice. Yes. Um, so that's what I got here. I put some soy sauce in it when I cooked it. Some good stuff. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna take my first bite. Very good. I mentioned in my last video, I was trying to cut my carbs. So, um, I've been very successful at that. And, um, so hence the cauliflower rice, they actually make this in like a steamable bag. I just put it frozen in a, a pan and I sauteed it pretty much with some butter, some good stuff. It's pretty good. And the chicken actually was from a rotisserie chicken. I found five dollars in a Walmart parking lot. How amazing is that? You know, when I can hit bottom with parts of my life, I get blessed in other ways. Yeah, I was walk. I just got out. I went to go. Oh, that reminds me. Dang it! I need to go to the store and get my prescription. I went to Walmart to drop off my prescription, and then um, the um, this car. When I was walking, it just pulled out and I let it pull out. And then when I started walking, I looked over and right, probably underneath where the belly of the car was, there was a crumbled up $5 bill. And it had been there a while. I guess people just kept pulling in and out. It wasn't by someone's car doors directly under where someone might park. So I'm like, huh, I'm gonna take it. I bought me a rotisserie chicken with it. That's right. So, um. Yeah, it was kind of wet and dirty, so it had been there a while, but that was a blessing. It's only $5, but hey. Um, this is pretty good, y'all. This is like totally, it, well, not zero carbs, but um, it definitely has carbs because the cauliflower has carbs and so does some of the green beans but other than that but it's healthy carbs so i've been cutting back on that today's friday so on monday it'll be two full weeks i weighed myself this morning for some reason i was like i lost 10 pounds in a day <laughs> my mind was like i don't know Mm, this is my peach mango tea again or water i might have been still sleepy and delirious but yeah i didn't lose 10 pounds in one day i weigh every day but on monday is the official weigh in so i don't know i think i probably i lost five pounds the first week and the second week i've lost probably not even a pound so far i am being very careful but I also started lifting weights, so Monday night I did upper body weights, Tuesday I did back exercises, which is like um, still using the weights, but like more leaning forward and working your lats and stuff, and then on Wednesday I did um, leg exercises and um, crunches, I took Thursday off. I want to play poker and tonight I'm going to do the arm exercises before I go to poker. So I think I'm going to do upper body, back and lower body in each on their own days and take one day a week off. But I've been, I've been pretty diligent about it. I've sat on the couch when I got home. I've been super lazy. But after eight o'clock when that rolls around i'm like mm, i guess i'll exercise so i do it and i feel better after cutting my carbs 
and exercising, this is going to be a good thing for me. So I just have to continue making some decent meals that I can do mukbangs with. This is really good, y'all. You can make this with um, rice if you like rice, but you just do rice, any vegetable you want. I didn't include like corn and carrots and stuff because those are usually sweeter and have more carbs, but you can do whatever vegetables you want. Make sure you throw some egg in there because it's not fried rice without the egg. Work was super busy today. It's the last day of the month. And um, Monday we have $36 million in payments going out. I prepared half of them and sent them today. And then the rest of them I have to send on Monday. Over 100 electronic wire payments. It's always a pain. I have to look at every single detail of a payment. But make sure it goes out of the right account goes on the right day goes to the right account number the right routing information the right beneficiary name is all got to tie for a hundred payments go figure um so i kind of got back on the dating site just to see what was out there and I found um, Sugar Plum Yum Yum on there. Which, I guess if we hadn't seen each other in a month, it was okay. But I kind of sent him a message and told him I guess we're officially done. You know, even though he was talking to me still a little bit. We were kind of doing some niceties back and forth. And he had said, man, I used to break up with him a lot. Like, when he would do something, it would irritate me. And I just got frustrated and said, I can't do this anymore. I need attention. You're not giving it to me and you're making it worse. Like every time I asked, he would make it worse. So, but we can give, right, he wouldn't let me break up with him basically. But he said, well, I had that profile before we met. And I've only gone on to unhide my profile the 72 times you broke up with me. I'm like, oh. So it kind of hit me that he'd been you know probably as early as november or december whenever there was a hiccup in our relationship he would log in and look for a replacement <laughs> that's wrong um so i told him he kind of lost my trust at that point. Had I known that, I wouldn't even try this hard for this long. So I told him, it's final. We're done. We're done. It's over. We can't be friends because friends don't treat me like the way you treat me. But, anyway. Um... It's kind of interesting to see what's out there. I've had a lot of men reach out to me. Some are good possibilities and some are kind of like, mm. There's one that's 52 or 53. It might be 53. Y'all, I'm going to be 47 in 14 days. Something like that. And I'm like, mm, okay. You don't look terribly old. I mean, I've seen plenty of 55, 60 year olds, year olds that look 40. But, uh. Yeah, this is goatee. And it was kind of like, I like goatees okay. But his was kind of long from here to here. You know, it wasn't like trimmed nicely. And I was like, mm, older gentlemen tend to do that. And he was talking to me like crazy back and forth. Almost a little much. But anyway, we were maybe going to meet Saturday. But he sent me a picture, right? He sent me some other pictures, but this one I kind of zoomed in on, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, his hair was coming from his nose out into his mustache. It's almost like 
you know how like a, a volcano erupts, right? And then the lava comes out and then just spreads out. That's kind of what it made me think about when I saw that hair right there. I'm like, okay, now now you're doing old man things. You're not even, you're not grooming. So at first I was gonna ghost him, but then I was like, that's not cool. So I was like, you know how I'm like, meeting someone to go on a date, kind of is like a little bit about a connection and chemistry as well as personality. He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I don't want to hurt your feelings, but you send me a picture and there's like a ton of hair coming out of your nose, growing out of your nose into your flowing into your mustache. And older men don't tend to groom. And that's what it made me think of. And it was kind of a turn off. I said, I'm not saying this to hurt your feelings. I just didn't want to meet you and that be in the way. Cause that's all that's in my head, right? He's like, I understand. And you know, if you think I'm old and whatever, and I'm like, it's not what I said, but I'm, I was pretty much gonna leave it up to him and see if he wanted to shave that shit down, <laughs> I might consider meeting him cause he seemed like a nice guy, which is why I told him. He was like, I understand. He just basically put his tail between his legs and that was it. <laughs> It's better off. I need to find someone who's like more in my age range. I don't want no tatted up. No, I don't mind tattoos, but like, I don't know. You know, barfly kind of people. It would be nice to find a professional. You know, someone with a normal st stable job and then um, good looking would help. But Someone fun, caring, and who actually gives their girl attention. Anyway, so I'm not like super actively looking. I go online just to respond to emails or whatever. I get quite a bit of them, but um, yeah, that's about it. So anyway, um, I'm still struggling emotionally with the whole ex-boyfriend thing. Um, it ain't easy, but he made it easy today by telling me that he would, he was always looking to replace me. And I just told him, I said, you know, I guess I'm just like another warm body. You don't really need me. I mean, you can't love someone personally. I don't think so. If you have a disagreement and you turn around and you go on a dating site, start looking for a woman that tells me you don't love the person you have a disagreement with. You can't possibly. Obviously, he doesn't like to be alone, but that still didn't make it right. And um, so there's that. Um, I have poker tonight. It's the same one I went to Friday in one first place. So I have my $5 for my last man standing pot. I'm gonna put it in. More than likely, I won't let win. I usually don't win when I participate in that pot. Anyway, I will, and I will post updates. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will post an update as far as um, how I did, obviously, on my next video. All right, guys, thanks for listening to me. Thanks for watching. Um, oh, and I wanna say, um, I, I appreciate the viewers. I appreciate all of you that take time to watch my videos and write comments or just watch videos but i get comments and i've gotten some letters that people say you know hey um it's it's pretty dang lonely here and it's i like watching your videos because you know you're real and um it's kind of like talking to a friend sort of and um it's nice to know that i can make somebody happy so I do appreciate every one of you. Thanks so much. And I just want to say that. And why is no one asking for shout outs? Why? Why? All right, guys. Love you all. Thanks for watching again. I think I said that three times. I will see you in my next video. Okay. Bye, y'all.